Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get dirty with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets presented by Toyota. Top two in the points on the front row to set the pace. Green flag is out. Let's do it. Cannon McIntosh will lead them through turns one and two. Ryan Timms is there close in tow as they head to turn three and four. Timms will slide high. Team is there in third. The Shark in fourth. This Mac will lead lap number one. Ryan Timms right through the middle part of the racetrack, closing in just a little bit there through turns one and two. As here comes Team Mez, top three. Work in the middle to the top as the Shark runs down low, smells blood in the water here as McIntosh continues out in front. McIntosh remains out in front. Ryan Timms second, top two in the points. That's how they run. Oh, big bike for McIntosh. Timms around the outside, right place, right time for the JBL Audio number 67. Ryan Timms out in front. McIntosh trying to gather it back up. Thomas Meserol holding on to that. Oh, we got trouble over in turns three and four. Car upside down and red lights come on. Race fans, it looks like the 56D of Mitchell Davis and he is already out of the race car and walking away and frustrated for sure. He is out of the race car and now we see Peter Smith in the 5U climbing up out of his race car down in turn number one. Here's another look at the Dirt Vision replay. Slow-mo entering turn number one right there. Wow. So a rough ride for Peter Smith. And the magic number 35. Ryan Timms, Cannon Mack, Thomas Meserol, Timez will restart third. Carter Sarf, Hayden Reinbold. Your top fives, the green flag waves, and we are back underway here in Peabody, Missouri. Right to the outside part of the racetrack go the top three as the Shark runs down low. McIntosh trying to reel in. Tim's and there's his chance. Tim's a little hiccup bouncing around the high side. Entering turn number three, Kenneth McIntosh to the outside. Tim's tries to get back to the inside and turns one and two, and he will. Wow, great move by Ryan Tim's to retake the top spot. McIntosh back to second. Meserol still there hanging out in that third spot. Ryan Timms opening up an eight-tenths of a second lead as Carter Sarf looks to the inside of Meserol, slides a little high there on the back straightaway, and that allows the Shark to get to the inside and take over that third spot. So move last night's winner into third as they race through turns one and two around the slower traffic. And we got one slowed over there in turns three and four, now unable to make the hard left-hand turn. That is the 72J of Sam Johnson as Timms brings him off turn number four, and we are back underway here in Peebley, Missouri. Carter Sharp to the inside of Cannon McIntosh, trying to take second, he'll get it done, coming off turn number two. Nice move for the Shark, and he's looking for the lead, coming off turn number four. So right there, Carter Sharp goes to the low part of the racetrack, gets it done, but uh, caution lights come on one more time. It's Ryan Timms will bring him off turn number four. 16 laps have been completed. Green flag is out, we're back underway. Ryan Timms, a pretty good restart. McIntosh right to the outside once again. Sarf goes right down to the bottom once again. This time though, unable to make it work. Can he finish him off down in turns three and four? He can. Crossover move for Cannon McIntosh, not gonna work, and Carter Sarf takes over second. Carter Sarf having no opportunity to make a move, and now a little trouble on entry in turn three. Ryan Timms slides up the racetrack. Carter Sarf will take the lead. Can he hold him off? Timms back to the inside in turn one. The Shark again trying the crossover move, coming off turn number two. Tim's Sarf, there's Cannon McIntosh trying to get up into the mix as they battle off turn number four. Ryan Tim's will hold him off as they cross the stripe. Yeah, you can see he's having a lot of trouble there on entry into three. And another one, it went into one. He gives it to Sarf there. Almost a mirror image of what he did in turn three, does it in turn number one. So the Shark, Carter Sarf, out in front once again. Cannon McIntosh now trying to cross over his teammate for that second spot as the Shark continues to work the low part of the racetrack. Cannon McIntosh still trying to hold off now Zach Dom, who has gotten by Thomas Meserol. Dom working the bottom to perfection, gets by the 7X, now sets his sights on the 71K of Cannon McIntosh for the final podium spot. But the laps are winding down. For your leader, Carter Sarf, as the white flag comes out, trying to sweep the weekend. Four grand for winning last night, trying to take home 7,500 here tonight as the Shark, Carter Sarf, works turns three and four for the final time, and he will get it done at the Ironman 55. The Shark wins with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets here in Peebley.
So he's in victory lane, ladies and gentlemen, the first two-time winner, now the first three-time winner with the Extreme Outlaw Midgets here in Peebley, Missouri. The Shark gets it done here with Iron Man 55 weekend. Yeah, I mean, I was flat on the mat the whole race. I wanted to get the lead as early as possible. Ran out of Terros with like 20 laps to go and his windshield wiping, so happy to get by Ryan there so I could see, and then I got the lap traffic and it just filled right back up again. And yeah, my head was hanging. I'm worn out from the sprint car too. And yeah, just super grateful to get this done. Yeah, every caution I had, that's all I could think about was this son of a gun, $7,500 to win. And that's big for the midget stuff. And thanks to Extreme and everyone involved, Toyota, Mobile One, just everyone involved that helps out with our team and uh, the whole Extreme series, Provisio Partners, Collision Concepts, Clearview Glass, Sunoco Race Fuels, my dad with Jamie Sark Construction. Um, yeah, like I said, Toyota, Mobile One.